رب سلی صدری و یسیرلی امری و اہلی اقتتن اللسان یفقہ و قولی سو السلام علیکم این ویل ٹو ریمنگ ٹو آل آف یو سو ہاؤ آر یو آل ڈوئنگ ٹو ڈے آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ الحمد للہ آئی ایم ڈوئنگ ٹو ایڈ ایز ویل سو ان دس ویڈیو ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک اینڈ دیٹ از کمیونیکیشن اسکل بیکاز فار ہیونگ اے گڈ پرسنالٹی وی شوڈ ہیو ٹو ہیو دس اسکل Because communication skill is the process of exchanging our thoughts, ideas and feelings to others. And it really helps us in lots of factors, whether you are doing job, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are doing a business or you want to make a good relationship. It's really an important skill that we should have to have. So for having this skill, we need to follow some tips and tricks to being a good communicator. So the tip number one is that we should try to be a good listener. If you want to be a good communicator, we have got to be a good listener. Suppose you are talking with someone and that person is trying to share their thoughts and it can be any ideas and feelings, right? And, that, and you are not able to listen to that person consciously. Then do you think that you will be able to reply to that person in the same way? No, it's not possible because you are not listening to that person. And afterwards, that person will also not get interest in talking to you. They won't like to share their thoughts and feelings or anything with you. And then after you won't be able to make a good bonding with that person. So make sure you, when, while you're talking with someone, just speak less and listen more and more. It will definitely help you to become a good communicator. Right? So the tip number two is that while you're talking with someone, just try to make a good eye contact. Right? Even if you feel uncomfortable to like look in his eyes, it's okay. But you can look towards his forehead. But make sure that you don't have to look here and there. Right? Tip number three is that you should have a sweet smile on your face while you are speaking. Because it will give you positive vibes. Not only you, but that person whom you are talking as well. Right? Tip number three is that you don't have to use your phone. While you are talking with someone, if you start using your phone, it directly shows that you are not getting interest in talking to that person. Right? Don't use this thing. And the tip number five is that you don't have to close your fingers and you don't have to put your hands in your pocket because it shows that you have lack of confidence. Right? Tip number six is that you don't have to try to use any fancy or advanced word while you are talking with someone. Because we human beings, we tend to try to use fancy or advanced words, just try to show off. So you don't have to do these things. Because while you are doing these things, that person won't be able to understand you. And if that person is not able to understand you, then how would you be able to make a good, you know, make a good communication with that person? So make sure that while you are talking with someone, try to use a very simple sentence. So now let's talk about the tip number five. So the, so the tip number five is that while you are talking with someone and that person is sharing about their hobbies and if you don't like that hobbies whether you like or not but you don't have to say that I don't like it right suppose that person is sharing that I like to read book it's my hobby whether but if you don't like to read book but at that point of time you don't have to say that I don't like it because when you say this thing you cut the conversation at the middle of it right so what you do is that you should start questioning you should try to ask question more and more with that person and when you you know when you are asking the question with that person more and more that person will get interested in talking to you because everyone wants attention and by asking the question if you are getting the attention that person will also love to talk to you right so tip number 6 is that we get confused that how to talk with a stranger whom we are meeting for the very first time. So you can start a conversation with a compliment. Suppose you, are, you have attended, you are going to attend a marriage, okay? And you are quite, you know, it's, you're not familiar. We are not familiar with that place. And if you get any person and you want to talk with that person, so you can start with a compliment. Suppose that person has worn a watch. So you can go and say that you, wow, you have got a beautiful watch. It really looks beautiful on you because everyone likes to compliment. And afterwards, you can start your conversation, right? So now, last but not the least is that 
most of the people they get confused that we have a good communication skill or not so it's very easy to analyze like when you're talking with someone and that person is able to understand exactly the same thing that you wants to convey it means you have good communication skill but sometimes what happens is that you are just trying to say something else and the person is able to take something else and that after all, it creates a conflict between you and that person and then you start crying and screaming you just start complaining that person is not able to understand me and most of the things it happens you know in in a relationship so why does it happens it means you don't have good communication skill if you had then you'll be able to make them understand exactly the same thing that you want to say right so instead of you know complaining just you need to work on your communication skill so if you start follow, following all these kinds of thing i make sure that that will help you to become a good communicator